Hi friends! I hope everyone's having a good day today. We are talking about pumpkins this week, so we are going to read It's a Pumpkin! It's got lots of silly animals on it, so it's a pumpkin. It's our picture. You see? A truck with a bunch of pumpkins and something fell out of the back. What fell out? Pumpkin. Let's see. Okay, it's called It's a Pumpkin. They found it in the middle of the road. Look at squirrel and mouse found a pumpkin laying there. What is it? Field Mouse asked. It looks kind of familiar. I don't know, said Squirrel. It's a mystery. I'll tell you what it is, said Field Mouse. It's in the way. Is it in the way? Let's see what they figure it out. They pushed it over so that it could roll. It rolled and rolled all the way to the possum's nap spot. Bonk. You see the possum taking a nap over there? So they know it rolls. Sorry, said Field Mouse. What is it? Possum asked. That's just what we were wondering, said Squirrel. Possum squinted at it. Then he sat on it. Hmm, he said. It's a chair. Is it a chair? They all tried it. Pretty comfy, said Possum. Disagree, said Squirrel. I don't think it's a chair, said Field Mouse. Look at all of them sitting on trying out the pumpkin chair. Mouse can't even get up there. All right. Of course it's not a chair, called the raccoon from her window. So what is it? asked Possum. Is it for eating? guessed Squirrel. Well, now that you mention it, said Raccoon, wait right here. A moment later, she came out with a big plate of cookies. Get up from that chair, she told Possum. I thought you said it wasn't a chair, he said. It's not. Raccoon set the plate on top. What do you think it is? See, she said, it's a table. Is the pumpkin a table? Pumpkins probably wouldn't make a very good table. Nope, pages are sticking. A table, said Field Mouse. Are you sure? Please have some cookies, said Raccoon. I made way too many. Possum went to get cider. The rabbit family joined them and the woodchuck too, and the party started. This is fun, said Woodchuck. But you call that a table? Actually, said Squirrel, we don't know what it is. I know one thing we can do with it, said Woodchuck. Come on. What do you think Woodchuck's going to do with it? I don't know. They got a good party going, though. Woodchuck set it next to the door to his burrow. See, he said. It makes a nice doorstop. They carried the cookies and the cider through the open door and the party went on. The chipmunk stopped by and even three chickadees. This is great, said Squirrel. We never have parties. Field Mouse was just pouring another cup of cider when the door went slam. Uh-oh, what was holding the door open? I wonder what happened to the pumpkin. Everyone turned to see the skunk standing there with a sly smile. Skunk, said Woodchuck, why did you move the doorstop? I happen to know, she said, that it's not a doorstop. No kidding, said Squirrel, but what is it? I've seen it at people's houses, replied Skunk. It's a lamp. A lamp, said everyone. I'll show you, she said. Who's got a knife and a big spoon? And we'll need a candle. What do you think she is talking about? Can you make a lamp out of a pumpkin? Let's see. Whoa, look at there. It made a very nice lamp. 
It had a jolly face and it flickered and it made them all want to dance spooky dances. The party went on. But are you sure it's a lamp? Field Mouse asked Skunk. What if someone... Whoops! said Woodchuck. What did Woodchuck do? He bumped into it, didn't he? What's going to happen to the pumpkin? <gasps> Knocks it over, Field Mouse asked. The crowd looked at the broken mess. What is it now? whispered Raccoon. One of the rabbit twins sniffed at the pieces. I think it could be a pie, she said, like our grandmother used to make. Yes, said her brother, a big pie. We can make it. Everyone helped. Look at all that teamwork. There's a smash pumpkin and there's some pumpkin pie. Yum, yum. Squirrel sighed after he finished his pie slice. Whatever it was, said Squirrel, it was tasty. Don't say was, said Chickadee. It's not all gone yet. He hopped over to a bowl that Skunk had filled with glop while carving the lamp. He picked some of the seeds out. Oh, I bet it would be delicious to roast those, said Raccoon. Let's do it, said Field Mouse. Have you roasted pumpkin seeds? I have not, but I'm told it's very good. Everyone can take some seeds home, said Woodchuck. The party was almost over. They all helped clean up. The rabbits and skunk did the dishes. Possum emptied the glop bowl outside. Then it was time to go. Field mouse ate her seeds all at once. Squirrel stashed his away and savored them slowly over the winter. Woodchuck slept all winter and savored his seeds for a snack when he woke up. Yum yums. By spring, everyone had forgotten about the party and about it. They were busy doing other things. Then one morning, Possum was scurrying home to bed when he saw something behind Woodchuck's burrow. He called over Field Mouse and Squirrel. Look, he said, it's a plant. What is it? Hmm. What could that plant possibly be? Everyone watched it all summer. It's a big plant, said Raccoon. A few weeks later, Skunk said, Wow, it's a flower. Look, called Woodchuck one day in September. It's a watermelon? I don't think so, said Chipmunk. It's too small. So there's the plant getting big. There's the big pretty flower. And then there is what they think might be a watermelon. Is it a watermelon? <laughs> kind of silly looking for a watermelon. It's getting bigger, said the rabbits. It's getting orange, said Chickadee. It looks very familiar, said Field Mouse. I know what it is, said Squirrel. What, asked Possum. What is it? It's time, answered Squirrel. It's time for a party. They may not know what it is, but they know they had a fun party last year with it, didn't they? And he was right. There, they're having a party with their pumpkin again. Pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed the story, friends. I will see you next week, okay? Bye.